I had already made up my mind I wouldn't come. Okay. Well, I but I want you to understand that yes, it's pleasing to you, but it ain't pleasing to God. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted yep. and save those who are crushed in spirit. That's right. Now, I don't have to be able to have my eyes open and feel the crushing in the room. That's right. But I'm just here shortly to let you know that I was ready and I have some things that God has given me just for your broken heart. Uh. When you are broken, some people you do not need around you. Yeah. Because if you have a bowl that is broken and you put water in it, the water is going to fall in between the cracks. And if you're around people and they are dropping water, which is their negativity, their pain, their trauma, and I know it's a lot of trauma in the room. Come on. Because I know what it feels like. Come on. I know what it looks like. But I know one thing that God is the mender of the broken heart. Yes, so all you will have to do is tell yourself. Yes, this is pleasing to me that I'm broken, but it's not pleasing to God. Wow. All he wants you to do is remove yourself from come the situation. On, on. Because if you were strong enough to remove yourself from the situation, you would know that it ain't the person you think hating on you, it's you hurting yourself. Wow. Come on, come on. Hey, I don't think you hurt me. We hurt you. I felt like the people that hated on me were the ones hating on me, and I thought they was after me. But when I allowed their negativity to fall into my cracks, I realized I was hurting myself because of I, I allowed their words to have that much power right now. over on. me. Right but one thing I realized that once I gave my heart back to the mender, he told me that I will renew you. I will make you whole and I will make you brand new. Come on. And I'm really hyped today because all I wanted to do was come get baptized today because I knew I've never been baptized, but I knew I was missing something. All I could think of was clean, cleanliness. Wow. Purity. All right. But the only way I got to the cleanliness and the purity was I had to not go around the people I was broken. I had to go around the people that were broken and the people I thought broke me, I had to step away from them. So when you learn how to step away, you will see that when you hang around what you start to do, it gets in you. So if I hang around when I'm broken and they got these drinks and I want this Tito's, I can't be fake with you. I'm going to be weak and I'm going to be vulnerable. And once I'm vulnerable, I take a shot with you. And then that one shot leads to the next shot. And then that next shot leads to the next Because all I'm doing is coping. I'm just telling you, this is how I thought I fixed myself. So as I cope and I take these shots, next day, you know, I am in someone else's bed. I am in someone else's bed. So I don't need nobody else to tell you about me. I'll do it myself. And the thing I learned about people talking about me and telling you about me, the story that they were telling ain't the same no more. So I decided to remove myself when I was broken from around people. And what you don't understand is why you were broken and you were thinking that you were okay being around these people, these are the people you really love. Wow. I'm a, I got seven minutes too. I ain't just pussy because I already, you know, I feel the pain, but I feel you want me to shut up too. But I can't do that for you. You got to choose. You have to choose to want to. Undo those mistakes. That's true. Kirk Franklin said something on his interview that messed me up. Come on. He said, I never knew we whole because I've always been broken. Now, and I wonder why I was now, like I was. Now. You would think that it was because I'm a player, I'm a dog. No, I was hurt. Come on now. Messed up. That's right. 
You don't realize the trauma that has fallen into your heart. Why I couldn't step away and not let the devil lead me here? I said, the devil, but it was my flesh and my sin got the choices to move this way, but I had to choose. No, dog, we can't keep doing this. It's the same thing over and over. And then I have to wonder why in my life this, I had already told myself because I was negative in my own mind. I can't never change. But let me tell you, I have changed. And I will continue to choose to change. But let me tell you about this one thing right here. No matter how you choose to change, there's going to be someone or somebody that is not happy with your change. Now let me tell you why the change is not accepted by most. Because you left them where you all were. Wow. You were supposed to stay just like this, and this is just for life. Listen to me. I'm trying to help you not make the same mistakes. I'm 34, and I know it's some people older, and I know it's some people younger that are in the same situation, and you ain't understanding that it's only because you broke it. The trauma, the thing that happened to you that nobody knows about. The rejection your father gave you that nobody knows about. Your mother rejecting you, that little bitty thing right there is the very thing that put a crack in your ball. That's right. I never seen nobody sit at the table and pour their milk in the bowl knowing that it was a hole in it. But what I did was I kept pouring the milk in. Come on. Because I thought if I eat cereal fast enough, come on now, I'll be all right. Give me a little volume on that music. I'm, 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 I am a product of brokenness. Come on, 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 come what in the world am I supposed to do with this broken bowl that is still here? So the fact that this broken bowl is still here, I know God, something got to change. I don't want to no longer keep letting my milk come out of my bowl. So what I have to do is, I got to let God go in here and put a little gorilla glue in it for me. Because right now I know it ain't going to be easy and I know it's going to take a little time to mend my brokenness. My brokenness put people in shame. My brokenness was what made me hurt people. Come on, come on. But this is the flip side of it. Have you ever thought that my brokenness hurting you brought shame on me? All right, come on. But let me tell you what I did with shame when God told me I, he, I can come to him with my broken heart. I kept walking in them doors. Yep, yep. And I kept telling myself that I'm going to change because I can't be the same no more. Because I can tell you this right here. Publicly. I guarantee you 75% of people in this room knew who I was Come on. because of what somebody told them. Come on. Come now you get to sit here and see that there ain't no way that this person right here can be used. Well, let me tell you another secret. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Noah told all these people, y'all need to get on my boat. Come on. It's finna rain. Come on. Come on. And he drunk, that's drunker than a skunk. It's been rain, y'all. Y'all need to get on the boat with me because I know the rain is coming. I know the flood is coming. But you ain't listening to me. So you know what? He kept building that boat. And as he kept building the boat, some of y'all were still laughing. But the thing is, now that I'm glad that when I'm building this boat, that you got something to say. Because I know that the fact that your story has changed about what you knew and who I am. I know that this boat is built for a reason. And see, now I have to let you know that I'm no longer a boat because that was the building process. Now I'm a vessel. And if I'm not only the vessel, see, some of y'all are vessels that you don't know of because the crack that's in your boat. You think that you just feel like this. I know I ain't the most spiritual person, but I need to tell her something. Well, you should because that is the gift. Of God that He putting in you. I got to be in 36 seconds too. Now, this is for freedom. This ain't 
to prove nothing to nobody. Because if you keep proving, you're going to keep hurting yourself. That's right. You said that. Now, say it again. So I have this thing where I do TikTok. And I had this TikTok that really just shot me yesterday. I'm at, I'm, I'm, I'm at the place. I heard it before, but God gave it to me again. So I had to go to the scripture that said Jeremiah 10, 23, I believe. Where he says, for I know that my body is not my own. Okay. So if my body is not my own, and I belong to Christ, right? Okay. Then we go to Jeremiah 20, 29, 11. For I know the plans that I have for you before the foundations. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but go with me. Not to harm you, but to help you. To do you good and not evil. And the thoughts that I think towards you. And to bring you. And to bring you. Mm. Now y'all see how I allow help to come in. Uh -huh. Not saying I planned it. Uh -huh. But I knew I needed some help. Uh -huh. I know what the scripture says because I'm living the scripture. I might not be the one to get up here and tell you in uh, first Thessalonians 10 and 6. Okay. I ain't there because that's fake. That's right. Anybody can quote the scripture. That's but that's a whole nother story. Now I'm about to help myself and somebody else too. It's on TikTok. It ain't even made it out yet because I'm going to post it. Because with my boat and building, I was not said a lot of things because I was worried about what you was going to say. And what you was going to talk about me even more. And when I say this, I mean people. Not talking about you, whatever. If your body is God's and God wants you like him, why? It's, one, hey, it's, it's a hurt one, though. This one that's still deep in. How in the world, if you don't own you, why are you allowing yourself to go crazy over somebody that has walked away from your life? If they walked away from you and they don't care about you, how is it that you're so foolish to know that when you're hurting, you're crying, you're feeling the way? But if the Bible had told me that my body ain't my own, what makes you think that somebody you own somebody else? See, I think you'd have mixed the scriptures up. Because when the, when, when you get married, when you become one, y'all are one, but who's you? That person still don't belong. That is a choice. Now, why am I, how am I the person to talk? Because I'm the one that messed up. Because if the vessel he used is telling you that his water's coming, and it don't make sense that he's telling you, but once the vessel is telling you and it's making a lot of sense, you better listen to no one when it tells you, please kill this father. I'm telling you that. Yeah. Uh -oh. Because it is. I made some mistakes I can't change. But I changed so I won't make the same mistakes. Now, the fact that I'm good with me. And God, I can't worry about none of that. I can't worry about what my mama feel like her two cents is. I can hear her. But I can't let her have an impression that draws me back because my mama might say something to me that agrees with my flesh. And if it agrees with my flesh, I might find myself creeping back a little bit because my mama said this so I know. But what did God say? Because it might be pleasing to you. But it ain't pleasing to him. I told y'all I didn't want to come up here. I, I want to be real with y'all. They sent a post, a text y'all and said that y'all got seven minutes. I didn't. I was disobedient. I, I didn't even respond because I didn't want to go up here. <laughs> because I had the choice to be grown. <laughs> but grown folk go to hell too. And grown folk that's disobedient when, because my mama didn't tell me to get up here. That's one thing I've learned in my walk. Yeah, you were the messenger. Come on. But the actual broken hearted mender sent it down from heaven because I already knew I was supposed to go. But one thing about knowing, if it ain't pleased, if it's pleasing to you that I don't come up here. It ain't pleasing. And it ain't pleasing God. You're wrong. So, oh, 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 Jesus, don't let me do this. So if you're doing what God has told you not to do, and don't, you know, well, whatever. If you're doing what he told you not to do, and you keep on, and we, y'all do know we're in the last quarter, right? Because everything that's in Revelations, y'all do know Revelations, right? 
the be- Genesis is the beginning. Uh-huh. Where Revelation is the end. Now, I don't know when the end going to come because he don't tell me all that because no man knows the day or the hour. So if anybody tells you the day or the hour, just know the day upon the And they lying. False is a lie, but I didn't want to call you a liar. But I chose, and I will keep choosing every day. That I'll keep walking, I'll keep doing what you tell me to do, even if it's uncomfortable to me. But what I've learned is in my uncomfort, uncomfortableness, I have to find comfort. Because when I find comfort, he keeps telling me to build his boat. And if I walked out of here today and didn't tell you what I told you, there would be people that would sink and drown if I didn't tell the truth. But what I really need you to see is I'm not feeling guilty for myself. I just need you to see scars. This ain't number of scars right here. And to my young people, if you have scars, talk to somebody. Yeah. Tell somebody. Yeah. Don't wait till you're 34 and think that, oh, I can handle this right here. I won't tell my mama. So when my mama's gone, I grab his phone. And I know that I'm going to be real real with you now. I know that they have a little block on it now when I go to the internet to look for something I ain't supposed to look to. But if I go over here to this, I still got access. God sees you. And he saw me. Because the closer you get to God, I want to let you know your sexual desire will intense if that was your problem that you had. That's right. Come on. She smoked once. I heard women. Somebody else did something else. I womanized women. But you know what I told God? I refused to hurt another soul. Because the fact that I hurt them, I was hurting myself. That's right. And didn't even know it. That's right. So what I had to do was I had to tell my my head what my heart already knew. But see, when you tell your head what your heart knows, you got to live what you done told yourself. Because once you tell yourself the truth, you a fool to keep walking forward. That's right. And I can't fight every. I can't be like put it like every night. I gotta prove my love. I can't keep doing that. I won't. And it's every, it was with everything. In every situation. In my secret place. In my work truck. Because y'all can't see me in neither one of those places. What I'm working on is I told God, God, I want to be convicted before I commit. I want to be convicted before I commit. So when that person talking crazy and they showing you that they don't really care about y'all already, but they keep dogging you and you give a oh God, you, don't know. you told me that. Only a fool utters everything. That's all his mind. So I got to stop and go walk the other way. Because what I know and understand is they not doing this to me. They only see any reflection of themselves. Right. They don't know how to deal with them. And the fact that you won't fall, the fact that you won't break down and give up and write a post about it and say I'm sad and I'm lonely. Man, yeah, I'm a, hey, look, I, I, I realized a lot of times I was lonely in a whole room full of people. So what in the world am I going to gain from this if I keep lying to myself? I ain't even want to build this boat. But I got you. This is my revelation, by the way. The boat's up, the water coming, and I'm choosing. You can hear me or you ain't got to. Or you, whatever person giving you the word. You don't have to listen to them. You ain't got to. You, you can walk right out of these doors. But I know that you know. That, that tugging that's on your heart right now, that tugging that's telling you just forget it. All right. That tug is saying it ain't it ain't even really them. This is, they hurt you. But see, nobody understands the fact that this person is hurting because all they are realizing is what this person did. All you have to do is realize that they hurt and God, I can't control this no more. I have no control over it. So God, I'm giving it all to you. And when you give it all to him, that's when you're gonna walk away from. It. Yeah, you're gonna have moments of thoughts, moments of memories. But I'd rather walk away from everything and be right than to stay in the midst of it and live wrong. 
Because if I'm supposed to lead you, now I'm talking to the married people. If I'm supposed to lead you, husband, and I'm supposed to follow wife, if we both broke it, what are we doing? We're falling and cracking and running to each other right here, and we're making a big mess, and we ain't nothing but a wrecking ball. So the point then is, the fact that I stayed in, one of us ain't necessary, so who leaves? And then I need to let you know that sometimes things happen. This is just, I got to be real. Things happen. And you think it's a person, but God made the vision. He knew that that would happen. And he showed you a glimpse of it, but you ignored it. And that's why you're still hurting about it. Just because I look how I look, don't never think that my heart ain't broke. I just know that I got to keep walking. And I know I got to keep pumping these weights in the spirit, man. Because I got to stay strong because if my inside is right, and my inside is right, and my heart is mended, that means my mind is on the right track. And then my mind on the right check, my chest started to poke out a little bit. But see, then I heard Dion say, don't confuse my confidence with your insecurities. Because it ain't me that's the problem no more. It's the problem that I didn't do what you thought that I would do in the moment of the pain. Now listen, I'm talking to people in their own situation. This is how we're giving it to you. Do it as you will. And then I'm going to say this and I'm going to get out of your way. What a baptism, and I'm getting baptized today too, y'all. Uh, right. I've never been baptized before because I had fear of the water when we first started doing it. So I just, this is it, I ain't even used this, he just told me. I wonder how many of you are not doing what he told you out of because of the fear that you think that you're in. You got faith when God worked it out. But when he don't work it out, you're scared. But what if I told you fear and faith are the same thing? They both want you to believe something that you cannot see. So if I can't see that I'm going to be a good man. If I can't see that I'm going to be okay to my daddy. He was never there. But I had to have faith to understand that the fact that he was never there for 17 years first. And then on the other side, the other 17 while I'm 34, what was I really missing? Now you can go back and read, look at all these testimonies, because they ain't the same. Come on, come on, come on. I realized that if he was never there at 17, till 17, and then from 17 to 34, he was never there. What was I putting in the gap? Wow. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was milk. Wow. I think it was negativity and lies. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Because the devil lied to you too. He just uses your own voice to do it. That's it. Because when you're in your room, I ain't talking to you. Because he'll come in your car and say, don't believe that boy up there. You know what they say? But the very thing might have saved you from going down here and dying behind the wheel before you have the wreck. And all I did was try to put you on the boat. But once again, you got to choose to want to do it. You're going to get tired of making a mess with the crack in your bowl. Because I never told you where the milk goes. It goes all over the place. And see, because the bowl has got a crack in it, it could be some on the floor. It could be some over here. But if you think about water and cracks and dirt, that means you have built roots in places that you have to go back and redig up because you forgot about them because of the next thing that's in your face that you're not dealing with. So you just push it away. And now that that thing's over there, you got another rooted issue. So I need you to understand therapy. Don't let nobody tell you you don't need therapy. But go to a therapist that has some God in it. Because and, and, and don't I don't get on no therapist on the phone because you need to be in that in that moment. Because therapy on the phone is almost like this, right? And once I hang up, it's what I feel in that moment. All right. But when I'm sitting in there and God is dropping and they dropping, He's starting to me. And see, God wanted me to heal the little boy in me. Because it was never quail hurting the people. It was the little boy that I never let grow up. I couldn't even look, I couldn't even go to the casket. Because my therapist told me that I needed to be healed. The, The hurt little boy needed to go to the casket to be able to hurt and feel the father that is lost. But if quail go there, See, now these ain't, these ain't 
reps of working out. These reps of my pride. Yeah, this one never did. He did everything that I didn't want him to do. He even lied to me. Then when I talked to him, he got the right to tell me, oh, I can teach you something. Click. You can't teach me nothing if you was never there. That's how I felt. You can't teach me something if you were never there. And then I need you to understand that some of the people's bowls are spilling on you because you keep sitting at the table with them. Now don't even don't look at me no more because that be the mix up. You see me and I ain't listening. Come on, right? I never realized that his bowl had trouble. I never realized that his bowl was in front of another man because his father wasn't there either. Wow. So the fact that his father wasn't there either, he didn't know how to be a father to me. And the fact that he didn't know how to be a father to me, I go a little farther and then my uncle tells me that his father's father wasn't there. So it had to be a generational curse that had to be broken. And then I want to be real with you and tell you that when my son came in this world, I didn't even know how to love. Wow. Because I never knew what love was. Wow. Because I thought it was chasing that girl. Wow. Come on. But when I looked at this thing Jesus. that God created, and I felt something that I never felt before. Come on. It wasn't the fact that he gave me a son, because he gave me the son out of wedlock. Come on. Another sin Come you can on. talk about. But babies are blessed. Yes, that's right. The baby was innocent. That's right. So if I, I, I then started to go to the doctor. Because I wanted to heal so I can be here for my son. So I started to go to therapy because I didn't want my son to be what I was. And then I wanted to be the husband that I know I'll be. Because I'm deciding to allow the little boy to grow. That's what I'm saying. That's it. That's it. Now I wonder how many little boys and girls are in the room that never grew up. Come on. 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 But God ain't studying that because he's working. Right. And the fact that I know he's talking, and I don't miss when he says it. So you can make me feel crazy. Oh, but he's yeah. still tugging at your heart. Oh, yeah. And so my father could not hear me because he reached out. And once he reached out, I'm angry. And now that I'm angry, I can't call him. How is it that something that you don't know has that much power? Come on, oh, yeah. The fact that he has that much power. Two months, I had to let something go. So I said, God, I'm giving it to you for the last. And let me tell you one more thing. Some of you all hold on to it because that's your excuse to keep doing what you would do. Why I'm telling you this? Because that is what I did. When my father finally checked up out of here, I had no other crutch to lean on. I did this because I was hurt. Yes, I was hurt, but it still was a choice. It's a baptismal service, purity, renewing. So I didn't want to go in the water and come back inside. Right. Even though I didn't want to get up here, God already told me I was coming. And I told him I'd be obedient. And I said, whatever it is that you got for me to do, I want to, I'm trying to run around on the cameras, trying to go out and check everything else. But see, let me tell you, God will wait for you to come back in the room. And he'll call your name. And then my brother come on up here. Man, why is you doing this? And stop thinking that it's the person calling you. Better you better say it. Because it's right. not. That's right. It's God in them. Right. If we can start seeing people for who Come they are now. and be okay with who they are, Come on here. you will know when it's the enemy, be, the enemy attacking you through them, or you will know that it's genuine as God has told them to tell you that. Come on. But you have to be ready to mend your bones. That's right. And stop letting the milk fall on your clothes. Because then those become stains. And those stains become stains of rejection. Those stains become stains of anger. And then you don't know why I'm always jumping off the handle because you ain't cleaned up none of your mess. <laughs> and some of the mess ain't the other people. Okay. Now I'm saying it. it was me. I was my own mess and couldn't even see it because I was so mad. So angry. I was so adamant to do security. 
Because I can go in there and throw people around, push them over, and they did nothing to me. Some of y'all do that, but don't even work for some years. Now I can't even go, I don't even go work because it ain't even no peace anymore. Because I know what happens if I step back in between those lines. Yeah, I do security, but I'm doing it from behind the scenes. So that's something else you can't talk about. When God elevates, you don't have to be seen on the fourth floor. That's right. That's right. That's right. See, my fruits do their own work. And I really don't have to say a word. But sometimes, God will let somebody come up and just take your little apple. Whatever you are, peel your banana back. And he'll show you what's under there. Some of y'all, you know, got a little right spot in your banana. But God can fix that too. Yes, he can. Because he's a God of the broken heart. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. That's good. Yes, he is. That's good. So, I was obedient. I hope you got something. If you didn't, I did. I got my freedom before I get there. So, Y'all got to learn how to walk before people clap for you. To the glory of God, yeah. But some people wait for the claps of the people they know. Let me tell you, they ain't going to be there for you to clap. Sometimes you got to clap while they right You got to clap for yourself while they right beside you. Plotting on you. And see, when I, oh, I got to tell you this. And I'm really going to leave. God, just let me go. Because they think I'm lying. But okay. listen. Some of you think that you are part of the crew. When the whole time you crash them, crash them. So let me tell you how this goes. While you linking with what, when you linking what's around you, these are the, and tell you, these are things I know. There are other groups inside of your group that you don't know about. Wow, you better These are things I've seen in life. And they talking about you. So, you ain't never got to listen to me. But here the God is. I dare you to take three steps back away from these people. Whoever the people are. And look in the window. Instead of looking out with them. Because once you're looking out the window, you can't see what they're doing behind you. Because they can tell you why. You know, I love you. You my dog. They have they plotting on you. How do I know? Because I've been plotted on. Come on, man. All right, come on. But hey, when God's on my side, even when I was living wrong, he still protected me. That's right. So I want you to know that you are still protected. Even when your bowl is broken and you keep pouring in, I need you to understand that the crack only gets bigger. It's not mending until God does it, but you have to allow him. But I need you to understand that no weapons that were formed against me were able to prosper. There were prayers prayed. I'm speaking for me, but I'm telling you what's going on. There were prayers prayed against you because they didn't have the courage to come to you. And then you would never think they'll smile in your face. But behind you, they're tearing down your dignity. they tearing down everything you built up because they feel a certain type of way. But as I leave this moment, I'm going to leave you in it. I'm speaking for you all, but I'm talking for me. Because the only way to be free is to walk away what was holding you down.